fight to Tor and Hizzo. A second chance for Pedro Hizzo to try to reign supreme in the heavyweight division. He eats a left quickly from Randy Couture. Couture, the Greco-Roman wrestler, wants to clinch, wants to close the quarters and get away from the hands and the feet and the knees of Pedro Hizzo. He doesn't want to get caught coming in on a rush either, so it'll be interesting to see how cerebral he'll be with setups. And he's good setups for this because he just cannot take the damage to Pedro. Pedro punches way too hard and kicks way too hard. And one thing Pedro knows he must do here tonight is initiate, as he was unable to do that in his title fight against Kevin Randleman, and he went down to defeat that night. Ironically, it was Randleman recently defeated by Couture when Couture won the belt again. Gutierrez well, really good at this clinch game. <laughs> he's man, great man, at the clinch around, game, man. and he's trying to get him against the fence and give Pedro credit. He knows that's the tactic, and he keeps circling to the center. It'll be interesting to see who starts striking out of this position first. Oh, oh there, there it is. Greco Roman wrestling, all the way to the Greek Olympics. There's great history of combat. And you want to talk about a throwback? That is Randy Couture, but he has the toys to go with his throwback skill. You know, when they're binding like that and they start to chase one another, watch the need to come up off quick, too. And sharp technique there by Couture. His knee just right in the thigh. Just short, sharp. Those are the little shots that 20 minutes in he really played you. Watch the knee, two hands on the head here. In five five-minute rounds scheduled here in this title fight. Some uppercuts. The one thing I asked Randy Couture about were the knees of Pedro Hizzo when he had his opponent in the clinch, and he said, I'm not seeing Pedro use the knees as much as one would anticipate he could and would. So he is concerned, but he has yet to see Pedro be truly effective with the knees in close quarters. I really think that that is, that's how Pedro's going to solve this riddle. Right, right. Of uh, the clinch, is to come up with that knee and break them hands open for fear that uh, Couture will take more shot. There's the knee. Nice. There's the knee. Uh, that softening. I tell you, them knees, especially when you're coming forward, really take you. Jammed into the fence by Randy Couture. And now he's trying for some ground and pound in the half guard of Pedro Hizzo, but using the leverage of having his opponent against the fencing. If Couture gets that full mount, it is dangerous. Dangerous. And he's good in there. He's got good balance so he can keep his punching stance. He's overwhelming right now. Pedro trying to get him into the guard. He has done so. And now he closes it. So sure with that shoulder punch. They're using shoulders. Who taught him all this stuff? Well, I think he taught himself most of it, buddy. The sport keeps evolving, Frank. Sure does. That is very impressive to see a technique like that come out. Up to the feet it comes. Back down with a big hammer from the natural Randy Couture. His own in front of his own corner and his mentor, Marco Ruas. Brazilian champion that we have seen in the UFC back in 95. Oh, good four arms. Four arms really working. Pedro Hizzo. It's and he's cut. open, Pedro he's Hizzo. Cut. Right on the nose. And Looks like he's been... cut on his head as well as the bridge of that nose. And that's been one knock against Pedro Hizzo is he seems to cut. Oh, he's got a deep cut on his head. It's coming down. Oh, the tour overwhelming. He has it into his world right now. Everything's short. And still 60 seconds remains. Oh, in one. Oh, Couture's trying to finish oh. him. McCarthy's right in there, making sure Hizzo can intelligently defend himself. Hizzo taking tons of punishment here. He's Couture with rights and more rights. And he finishes oh. another one. Combinations on Hizzo. Hizzo trying to work through this flurry of punches by Randy Couture. Something offensive. They're left, stop left, it. and another left. He does need to do something here offensive. Something offensive. They're going to pull this fight, but he's got to get his legs in there and kick him back. He's got to get space. McCarthy's right there, making sure that the fighter's safety is of the utmost concern and importance to the mixed martial arts world. As I took both taking a breather now. He did. He wiped his face. He had time to breathe. a little breather looking at the situation. But you got to do, you know, how much energy is Couture losing here by punching, punching, punching? He's obviously scoring. But he's also doing damage. Big time damage, guys. Big time damage. Oh, and he finishes with a big one. Wow, 
What great heart shown by Pedro Hizzo. Wow. That was a big storm he just weathered. Wow. You know, we talked about who could do the most amount of damage in the shortest amount of time. Couture is way up on that deal. Wow. Well, we all thought of the punching power of Hizzo could end this, but that steady pressure eventually forcing him into his game of clinching, then the takedown, and then really the ability to stay on top and ground and pound well. Totally. Just complete balance, complete control, scoring as much as he could. Well, he got some good damage in there. Let's go back and take a peek at some of this yeah, here's punching. Oh, nice oh. elbow. Bringing that forearm right down. Nice technique by Randy Couture. Beautiful adapted wrestling technique with the forearm. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. Come on. dangerous striker in the heavyweight division felt right there by the champion Randy Couture and you've got to you've got to wonder here why is Hizzo starting to slow down why isn't he trying to on, use this go. position he hurt Couture but he's not following up come on gotta move Pedro Hizzo a young man who cried in the shower for hours at age 18 when he first suffered defeat in the fight of game and now he's back on his feet trying to win for his country Trying to win for his hero, Marco Huas. And man, did he withstand some punishment in round number one. Round number two just underway. I'll tell you, that was one effective kick. It seems to have changed Randy Couture's attitude there totally. Oh, it did. And that take a lot out of you having all your weight on that leg, doing some sort of forward movement. Oh, there's the kick. So far, second round, Pedro's game. Uh -oh, uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Combination. And Couture is stunned. Pedro with a left. Now his confidence skyrocketing. Just missed oh, with that one. Oh, Combinations oh. again have Couture frustrated. Here's tonight payback to Marco Huas for bringing in a young man who had not enough money to pay for his lessons. Hizzo now, we've seen this a couple times tonight where first round's totally opposite uh -oh. in the second. Couture stayed down there an awful long time. Whoa. Combination again. And there it is, like the Shoney Carter fight we saw earlier tonight. The one shot that Hizzo got in to begin the second round gets between the ears of Randy Couture. Gets into his mind and makes him hesitate on his game a bit. And that kick is not his game. No. I think oh, Randy, you saw how sloppy that was. I wonder if Randy punched himself out in the first round because it seems now he doesn't have anything left. He's breathing through an open mouth. He does, and his attempts at that double or that single show that he's not working that clinch game anymore, which is his real strength. We thought tonight, beginning of the night, could be top to bottom the best part ever and the best set of fights in UFC history. The turns of fate and the twists of momentum have been astonishing this evening. Yes. Just an example of how this sport is. Anybody, anytime, with any move, can finish any fight. That's why there's so much respect, Frank, between the controls. Oh, that was a big kick. That and was Couture. a fight changing kick right there. That was a huge kick. Couture with oh, the left and again. combination. Uh, he's he's in trouble off. now. He's in big leg. trouble he's, now. Oh. If his hook connects, it could end here with still a minute and 35 oh. seconds remaining. Oh, the jab. Couture has heart, but it seems that Hizzo's now in his world. Uh, it's not looking good right here. Hizzo, he must initiate. He must finish. He's got to finish. There's uh, the left, uh, the combination, and another tired. kick. Couture is tired. A decade of difference in age with the 37-year-old Randy Couture, the 27-year-old Pedro Hizzo. Look at the what? marks. Oh, a high hey. kick. A high oh, kick. Oh, right, look at the nose. The nose is bleeding. Now. His nose immediately. 
immediately bleeding. Couture. Can he close the gap? Does he have enough energy to shoot again, Jeff? To I, clinch again? This is where age is going to hurt Randy Couture. He doesn't have the ability to recover as no. quick as a 20-year-old. Who was? And the his own corner are telling Pedro, stand up, stand up. But Pedro wants to catch his breath in this position, though, also. Pedro's got this fight won. There's a kick. There's a kick. It went towards the head. And it's Stone a down McCarthy fighter. Comes in. A down fighter, you can kick his body, but not his head. And so that gives a mini break to Randy Couture. Couture's all bloodied up there. It just seems he's lost the snap oh, in yeah. his legs. There's an uppercut. He's lost it. There's the knee. Here comes the knee. Another oh. uppercut by Couture. But his own. Saw Couture look over the clock. He's able to tired move away. Both tired. No damage done there. By Couture on Pedro Hizzo. Oh. Down goes Couture. Five seconds in the round. McCarthy's right there. Five seconds now. The horn will sound. And Couture takes all the punishment here in round number two. They are on their feet here in Atlantic City. This place is going crazy. What a great round of action. And it all started right here. This kick, it's going to come up, hits the hand, but it catches a good portion of the head as well. And Hizzo started to open it up in the standing position. Nice oh. kick. That kick caught him partly in the midsection, a lot on the leg, and it forced Couture down to the ground. And once there, Hizzo knew what to do. There, kicking the arm, it was close to the head. <laughs> Can't kick the head of a down fighter. That would be a foul. McCarthy all over. He caught his elbow. Can Randy Couture get his energy back to go into his game here in round number three? Round one to Couture, round two to his own decisively online. Jeff, you're the wrestler at heart, so is Randy Couture. What does the champion do here? I think the champion wants to get his own down on his back. How can he do it? He's going to have to. I, I would be suckering Pedro into throwing a right hand, trying to take the double out from underneath him. That or getting him near the fence, just circling naturally with punches. Don't do it just from the clinch. Try to circle him near the fence, bull rush him, get him up against the fence. Then that's more the tour's world in the clinch. But Pedro's done a good job right from the onset of trying to keep his backside towards the middle of the octagon. Good uppercuts there by Randy Couture to open up round number three. And there's the shoot. Nice ball. But good takedown defense by Pedro Hizzo. Frank. Really good takedown. And you see him get his hands inside. He got the underhook. He wasn't going down. Now, you got to remember, Couture's not a freestyle wrestler. He doesn't practice as much doing leg shots. He's got the ability oh, to do cool. a running double. But it's not going to be as proficient as one of the great freestylers like a Mark Jack. Who somewhat took yeah, you down, go, though. You had an arm bar carrying him down all the way, too. But oh, that's the kind of thing that you do so well, is you have to have that ability to take a man down or at least set him up so you have a fighting chance of it. Straight on shots, tough to make work. Don't forget, Hizzo can also submit his opponent, although he doesn't appear to be very interested in going that direction right here. I think he wants to end it and Trouble end it with there, an explanation right there, point. Time. time out called by John McCarthy to attend to Randy Couture. So checking you know what? I mean, his nose of Couture. What was interesting from that kick, Izzo threw the kick, and Couture blocked it with his hand, but in turn punched his own self in the nose. This is what did the damage. There's that big leg kick. Oh, that's the kick to the head. Nice. He still punched himself right in the nose. That's where the blood started. Come on, let's go. We'll let him go. And there on the ground, the kick into the arm. Go. It didn't hit the head, so it is legal. The old rule was no kicking a down fighter at all. But that rule was expanded to no kicking the head of a down fighter. One undefeated champion has already gone down to defeat for the first time. In oh, he's going to get him. UFC oh, career. Down. Couture trying to avoid the same fate. This fight has been fantastic. Back and forth they go. Let's see if Randy Couture now in round three can get back to his offense. Who withstood more 
damage. Was it Hizzo in round one, or was it Couture in round two? That's a tough one to call. They both work. really put it out there. Well, let me ask you this, Frank. If you're more fatigued, does it hurt worse? Uh, it, not, not that it hurts worse. It's just that your mind thinks it does. Yes. It doesn't actually hurt any, any more or less. It's just that your brain goes, wait, I'm really tired, and now it hurts. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. You know it. And I thought Randy was seemingly very fatigued Whoa, in that go. second round. I thought maybe he might have punched himself out in round one, smelling Izzo's blood, thinking, hey, I can end this now. No. But it may have cost him in round two. He just didn't have any juice. But now, using good tactic, on, getting work. the takedown finally, good, can guys. he Come operate on. here with any kind of energy? I think that's a Come great on, question because we have not seen Got him go into the this. ground and pound, try to really pass the guard yet of Pedro Hizzo here. As he was able to do so, it seemed with some relative ease in round number one when he had more of the tank. He didn't really try to pass Hizzo's guard. He just has those nice, short, choppy bows. <laughs> yeah. and, and if he can get those in, he doesn't care where he is. It's not a pass, it's a charge, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just go ahead and get those small shots. And I think that's all you're going to see him attempt here. I'm surprised he's up on his legs burning energy. I thought he'd stay down on his knees and just work from that position, try to get some of the air back. And if he does, maybe then he feels he has the punching power to put a flurry on. Let's go. Spectacular. A new champion a moment ago in the welterweight division. Carlos Newt and Hizzo trying to become the new champion in the heavyweight division. This round's been somewhat even with now 48 seconds remaining. No clear winner in this round, but I think both the guys are just trying to catch their air. The Pedro has started to do something interesting. He's actually starting to strike from the bottom a little bit, which he hasn't done throughout this show. I think that's been hurting him when he's been on the bottom. Izzo has fought wrestlers and been victorious before. Mark the Hammer Coleman won a split decision over the former UFC World Heavyweight Champion back at UFC 18. Lost, of course, to Kevin Randleman. Yeah, I think Randy's arms are really burnt. He pulls up like he wants to punch, and he puts him back down, puts his chest back down. I believe those are signs of fatigue. Those are uh, small signs of fatigue. <laughs> now, there was a good left hand by Randy. Now covering Cover the mouth. mouth. <laughs> They're all learning that little prick trick. <laughs> <laughs> started to take the fight to Randy Couture. And one of the big shots in that round was this high leg kick. Bang, it caught Couture's hand. You'll see it hit the hand, but it also catches part of the head, and the hand also hits the head, and that added to his own scoring. If Couture doesn't keep that left hand up, Frank, he suffers the same fate that Mark Coleman did on the high kick earlier in UFC history from Pete Williams. Totally, and he's, he's very vulnerable. The tired he gets because of his style adaptation. He's basically wrestling. He's not used to the fatigue of holding your hands up there, keeping them up that long. And as well, he keeps his hands away from his face. So you see him... When he took that kick, he ended up hitting himself. So he's taking two secondary shots. And that's just a sign of an experience in striking. And we are in championship territory here. Fourth and fifth rounds. He separates the man from the rest. He sure does. That's enough that extra two rounds. Forget the imitations. This is truly the most intense hand-to-hand -hand combat in the world today. The world of mixed martial arts, full of respect, regard, and high energy. There's a left that connects nice left to Couture. Hook. Couture's still trying to close in oh, nice. and work the uppercuts. Wow, look at them uppercuts. The uppercuts are good. They've been very effective. good. They're perfect for his style. He just adapted Greco-Roman right into punching. Still largely misunderstood in the U.S. by many. 
There's so much camaraderie and respect amongst these fighters. And I'll tell you what, these two competitors respect each other. Is Izzo accepting the clinch position here? It looks like he is. I, I, I'm wondering, why doesn't he back up towards the center? And he's that, not. That could prove to be a huge mistake. This is not where his world is. Remember the hesitation and the almost of falling asleep that Hizzle has fallen into in the past, especially in the Kevin Randleman fight. That has been one of the knocks on Pedro Hizzo. And that is why Marco Zuaz tells him you must initiate. Is he stopping the initiation here in this round, guys? Oh, oh, oh. Trade Couture now is the aggressor. But he's moving forward a lot here. This is what Hizzo likes, is a guy that moves forward. Nice, pushing the head down, running out. That's right, single leg, that's exactly where you want to go. Keep the man's head down. Randy comes right after him. He takes the center of the ring. There he goes. He's not chasing now. He's thinking again. If you think that Pedro likes it more when guys come at him, he oh, likes the counter. Every time I've seen somebody knocked out, they were charging Pedro Izzo. So, yes, I think he's capable of knocking out straight standing, but he really enjoys getting a fighter to come at him. And he's good at doing it. He'll step in, he'll throw a punch, he'll sit still, then he'll kind of take a step back, and it induces you to take that one step to follow him. And he's been very good with people, but it seems that Randy got him to settle for clinch as well. So I think once you get that heart rate up around 185, 200, <laughs> your mind starts telling you some crazy things. <laughs> My thing as well, Pedro is a, at heart, he's a pro kickboxer, he really is. Yep. And, and in pro kickboxing, you have that timing, you have that rhythm that you have to kind of follow. And I wonder if he gets trapped in that as he gets tired and he falls into that into that world. And, and let's ask a question. Look at Randy Couture's left leg. Yeah. When's the last time Pedro, well, there it was. There I was wondering when that was going to come back. Oh, uh -oh. Couture's going to get oh. him. Side mount. Can he, two minutes. Can he get to the ground and pound, though? Can he work on his own with the same frenetic pace that he worked on him in the first round here? Well, he's got a lot of time. He doesn't need to have to go too hard yet. With a minute 45, maybe take 15 seconds, see if you can improve your position, see what Hizzo will do if I move this way or that, then set up your floor. Keep in mind, if this fight goes the distance, then it renders a judge's decision. So it is not a situation where Couture has to finish his opponent. He just needs to control these later rounds. They've each treated a round. I'm not sure if Hizzo may have gotten a dominant round in the second round. But they each traded a round. Third round, awful close. Absolutely. This round, awful close. Not sure who could win this. Up to the judges. But the one factor in round three and four is Couture had a takedown. That's true. And that may, that may even or put him ahead Come of his strike. Let's go. What are you doing, guys? His two children, Ryan, who plays third in the state in wrestling in Oregon, and his daughter, Amy, 16, and a heck of a little submission wrestler and kickboxer herself. So fighting runs in the Couture family. In the family. Absolutely. You have to wonder now, late in the Maya round, who can steal this round? Whoever's active now leaves the impression with the judges. It's so much on the line, guys, for Pedro Hizzo. We saw the up-close feature from James Wormy shot in Brazil. And a young kid who just wanted to be involved in the sport and Marco Ruas said, I know you don't have enough money, but come on in and train with me and I'll try to turn you into a champion. And believe me, Pedro would like to get this for himself. He wants it equally, if not more so, for his country and for his hero, Marco Ruas, as he walks and talks to the former champion, Ruas, here. Here's that takedown. You see him getting deep inside. He's got his hips right here. And what's good about Randy is he continues to turn the corner. By doing so, left hand on the far hip, near arm seizing right around the knee, and with the head pushing into the back, it's going to force Hizzo's head to the side and down. And when it does so, the hips come up. Let's take a peek. Right here. 
turns the corner and able to drive him down. And that was a pretty good impact there. His head bounced. Yeah, that was nice. Like, Billy kind of kind of hung onto it too long. Like he needed to get out of that, but he didn't. Fifth and final round. Are you ready? Five minutes remains. That one, a slight edge. Round four, online from our fans around the world to the champion, Randy Couture. Hizzo's moving forward. Haven't seen this too much. This is really the first time in the fight. Hizzo was actually moving forward there. He's starting to press. Not only is he moving forward more, but he's moving his hands more. He's a little more relaxed. He's bouncing around a little bit. I think if he stuck that jab out there and baited Couture in, he could really hook him with one of them hooks or a knee. He's hit Couture with a jab. Yeah. Missed with that he one. He needs to lead him in on them jabs. He needs to stick it out there and make it like a measuring stick. Make him come around that. Does Randy at this point almost feel like he's one takedown away from victory? I'm not sure he feels that way at this point. I'm not sure he'd yeah. want to guess. I think he'd like to get to that stage. It's just this is the opportunity Hizzo's been waiting for. Nice. Oh, good good defense. counter right. Yep, yeah. good defense. Well, that's got to be a little intimidating. Combination. Randy's got to work through this right here with Hizzo trying to throw the punches and the kicks. This sport is evolved. Guys, throughout the last few years, so much, guys, but it's still right now almost coming down to striking against wrestling. I saw Hizzo's hands on the hips. There's a sign that he's a little tired of carrying those hands. That might limit his punching prowess here in the fifth, fifth round. He's breathing pretty good. Mount's up pretty good. arcing throw there by Randy. <laughs> Not very straight, but he's... I tell you, I thought he was gassed in the second period, and here he is in the or second round, here he is in the fifth. I really and he's in this really fight. Cover. Now, these three minutes are going to tell who wins the fight, and he just can't get the penetration step he needs. Come on, won't and you win? no follow-up from his own. So he's got to be tired as well. Yeah. You're through it. Come on. Pedro Hizzo started on, in martial go. arts at age three. I am amazed. Look at how hard they're both breathing. They are exhausted fighters. Two minutes, 45 seconds remain. I mean, I've had my arms rubbery in a wrestling match, but I've never had to hold them up to protect my hand the whole time as well. It's just amazing the kind of effort that these fighters put out. This is why I respect this sport so much. It's also amazing the quality of athlete we get oh. in here who's willing to adapt himself to these rules and this style. All right, we're down to 220. Nothing has really moved since the shot from Couture. And now, Izzo getting active with some punches. The heart displayed by these fighters here tonight should have ended in round one, could have ended in round one, with Couture being victorious. Should have could have, but did not end in round two when Hizzo overwhelmed the champion. Well, if I was a judge and this fight finished like this, I'd be looking at the guy on top if he called the winner. Oh, there we go. They're back on their feet. 145 remains. There is no time but the presence now for the striker Hizzo. He's on his feet. Now maybe we're to that one last takedown. Yeah, he's got to go. Hizzo's really got to throw him. But he's got to bait him in and try, and try and land on him. Can Randy be baited in, though? 125 on the clock. about how he always throws power punches, but I think it's limited in here. He's got no measuring stick. He's got no way to lead him in. The tour can't shoot, though. Punch, punch, kid. That's Pedro right now. Punch, punch, kid. He should be. He should be throwing punch, combinations. Punch, punch, he, could, he could win this round, and with the other ones being so close, this could be the fight. Final minute this, of this heavyweight this, title this fight. This fight minute right decides here. decides the fight. Believe me, both those men inside the octagon know. The crowd started to react to this final minute of competition. Oh, big kick Couture. right there. Couture follows with a kick of his own. 40 seconds on the clock. Who will leave the last impression? The man who does could very well leave with the belt. Couture, 30 seconds, closes in. 37-year-old Randy Couture. Hizzo got him there. If, if he 
stays in this kind of range, doesn't try to circle, get outside the arm, get him near the fence. This is Izzo's game. I don't know what Randy can do here, so try to trade punches with a better puncher. There's oh, a shot. He goes oh, down. Oh, Five seconds left. Four, three. Izzo finishing with the flurry. Oh, my God. It's all over. Wow. Time has expired. The judges will render a decision, and this jam-packed Trump Taj Mahal is electric in anticipation.